20, 22 subcaudal, so it, it's a male, but I think probably the easiest way is just to use a scissor. So. There was a, a rupture or something. right there so that that ruptured while the snake was alive and that's how the blood ended up around there up here ribs full grown gray squirrel oh it's just too big of a too big of a prey because there's wow. uh, blood that I think it ruptured the digestive system, mm. whether it was a claw or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Never, there's, there's no problem back in here. Everything looks normal. And it's hard to say when he was swallowing that whether the Claws were turned right, or were they ripping the whole way down? Stretched so tight, I mean, it stretched thin. Just uh, wonder how often that happens. <laughs> if they eat prey, they're just too big for them. But yeah, that was the question. I can uh, imagine that. I mean, it's a big, it's a big snake. But I look uh, at the size of his mouth compared. But you yeah. wonder how how he got Jeez. through the neck area, yeah. you know. I mean, I know it stretches a lot up there. You can see how far the scales come apart, but uh, that's amazing. Okay. So. Well, I appreciate you coming out and yeah, checking it's it out for interesting. us. Interesting. It's uh, a big prey, big prey animal for maybe a snake that might be 45 inches. Hmm.